I'm Dr. Edward Fisher, the Leon H. Charney Professor of Cardiovascular Medicine, Director of the Center for the Prevention of Cardiovascular Disease, and the Director of the Mark and Rudy Bell Program in Vascular Biology, all at the NYU Langone Medical Center. I am honored to be receiving the George Lyman Duff Memorial Lecture Award at the American Heart Association Scientific Sessions. In the first area that we've made significant contributions is the a way that the particles that carry the cholesterol and triglycerides in your blood are assembled and released from the liver. The second major area is the discovery that the same cells that come into a plaque that gobble up cholesterol can be encouraged to leave and make the plaque smaller and less inflamed. And the third area is to apply nanotechnology to deliver drugs and diagnostic uh, molecules into plaques directly, avoiding exposure of the rest of the body to these substances and specifically target the cells in the plaque to either uh, uh, detect their presence by imaging or by making them leave or become less inflamed depending on the drug we put on the particle. Going forward in terms of cholesterol metabolism, the the next few years in my lab will still focus on unraveling the control of the release of the particles that carry the cholesterol and the triglyceride, a related fat, into the circulation. So we're learning more about uh, where we might be able to intervene in the liver cell to prevent the release of these particles that wind up accumulating in the arteries. But in terms of the future of the uh, atherosclerosis research and the nanotechnology that I, I mentioned uh, we really want to focus on how to undo the damage that the accumulated cholesterol has caused. Because if you think about it, typical patient, middle-aged, uh, already has plaques. And if we lower the cholesterol uh, sufficiently, we'll prevent the further progression of those plaques to some degree. But we won't necessarily get rid of the cells that are in the plaque that can cause a rupture or a heart attack or the inflammation that they also cause, which also increases the risk of a, of a plaque, what they call rupture, which is actually what a heart attack is. I don't view this award as the, the beginning of the end. Uh, it's really the beginning of another phase, uh, and an energizing phase because I've just gotten the seal of approval of my, of my colleagues.